Vandalism or art? City inspectors are asking a Fountain Square bar owner to remove what they are calling spray painted graffiti. News Aid's Julia Dang is live in the dugout bar in, on Virginia Avenue. And I understand, Julia, you talked to the owner here. Yeah, Mike, he told me he is willing to comply with the city's demands, but he wanted to make it clear what they're calling on him to remove is not vandalism. It's part of the mural created by a prominent artist. News 8 crews watched as graffiti artist Al Diaz painted the brick wall of the dugout bar back in July. An effort worth pursuing. It was a collaborative effort between Al and artist Matthew Aaron. All lowercase, no space. The mural, all caps, reads SAMO as a well known brand in every town across the land. The SAMO tag, a shortened play on the phrase same old, has appeared in street art for decades. It dates back to 1978. And it was originally a graffiti I did with this famous guy here, Jean-Michel Basquiat. It was a parody, a statement on consumer culture. But the city of Indianapolis is calling it graffiti and giving the owner of the bar 30 days to get rid of the word SAMO. I mean, we're going to do what, whatever the city wants us to do. I just want to make sure that the city understands you know that this is just basically it's just uh, these two gentlemen's artwork. Owner Nick Baxter says he agreed to let them put it on the building and he's not sure who's bothered by it. A city inspector confronted him after investigating a complaint about the mural. You know with the rise of property values you know there's been a um, you know, maybe a view from a lot of the artists that they've been kind of pushed out of this neighborhood and pushed out of, you know, Fletcher Place and, and Fountain Square. But, you know, there's still a lot of artist friendly businesses, you know, up and down Virginia Avenue here. The Arts Council of Indianapolis is now urging the city to rethink their removal demand. That SAMO, that tag, is seen on paintings and museums. And we have reached out to the Department of Business and Neighborhood Services. They confirm the only part of the mural that appears to be out of compliance is the word SAMO. They're having inspectors come back out here within a couple of weeks to make sure it has been removed. And it is unclear who made that initial complaint. Reporting live, Julia Dang, Wish TV, News 8.